Okay, I'm going to give this video a try. It is my very first video and I'm doing it in response to a couple of requests um, due to a card that I had posted that featured the 3D embossing folders from Crafters Companion and the gilding wax. So this is the envelope. It's the cards already inside and addressed to be mailed off. And so I do have a couple other samples. This is um, a card that I have started a base for. I have um, just a page that I embossed and I tried the three different colors. You've got the bronze, the gold, and the silver on here. Uh, this is the frame for another card. This is a card for my nephew that I have started. And today I'm going to be working on a sympathy card. So I'm working with black cardstock and this is actually an embossing from the folder that I'm using. It is called English Rose and it is the Crafter's Companion. This is done on a metallic paper. It's such a pretty paper um, that I won't be putting any of the gilding wax on. So I have my folder with the black uh, cardstock, just plain black cardstock loaded. Um, I'm going to go ahead and run this through the Gemini to emboss it. And this definitely makes it a whole lot easier um, having to hand crank it. So let's go ahead and get this taken apart. And there is my folder and my cardstock. Yeah, the plate, get that out of the way. So um, this is the actual folder, and again, it was just plain black cardstock that I was using. So then, um, what I will do to make this into a card is once it's all done, I'm going to go ahead and I will um, put a score line on it. I'll fold it and then I'll trim it with my paper trimmer, and then go ahead and add any other. Uh, embellishments that I'm going to do on it. But right now I just wanted to work with um, the gilding wax. So I do have the three colors. This is um, the gold. Then there is a bronze. And the color that I did on the black before and I'm going to do again today is um, the silver. So this is the silver. And I am just going to go ahead and um, get started with that. I have a little piece of paper that I used to dab off some of the excess because it takes so very little. So I just pick it up with my finger, um, rub in a little bit, and then I'm hoping you can see this. I'm just lightly going to go across the um, raised portion of my design, and it does go ahead and it, it highlights it beautifully. Um, and it is so easy to do. I like the fact that it is, it's metallic. I know you can do this with stamping inks and whatnot, but I do love the metallic of this and, um, you can do, you can layer it to increase the intensity of it, um, so that it has more of an antiqued look or it has more of, um, more of a, a sheer metal look. So you can just layer it on and it comes out so beautifully. It's it's just truly a stunning um, look. So that is the extent of it. And you can see there the side of it that I have put the embossing cream on. So real quick, I'm gonna do the other half of it. And then I have something else that I'm going to show you and um, I'm getting ready to go on vacation. Uh, we leave tomorrow. So next week when I am back I think I'm going to do a video on how to do um, this next project that I was playing with. So many people have asked about ways to um, color the um, etching when you etch glass and I was just doing some research last night and um, on the gilding wax to see what else you know was out there and what other people were doing, etc. And someone said that they 
didn't have an answer to a question that had been posed, but they had only bought um, the gilding waxes to do glass etching. I'm like, glass etching? Glass etching has to be done with the chemicals, you know, so we use the armor etch. Well, I got up this morning and I have this glass that I've been playing with because I want to see how small I can effectively um, get a design on these glasses because I had done some wine bottles and I wanted a glass to kind of match it. So I got up this morning and had to start playing and I'll show you that next. But there is the face of the card. Now on the one that um, I had posted the pictures of, on my Cricut I had gone into um, one of Anna Griffin's cartridges and I had cut a very similar shape to this shape that's in the center of this embossing folder. I cut it in a metallic and then I cut a smaller version of it and that's where I put the happy birthday and I'm going to do something very similar uh, with this card for the sympathy card. But um, just, I've been teasing you enough so now I'm going to show you, I'm going to slide this in it. It's a glass, a wine glass that I've been playing with. Um, it's got the glitter and um, then I have the epoxy on it to, for the stem. And then I had played with some etching and I went ahead and I used the gold and I put it over the etching and I made sure it had a fairly decent coverage and then I let it dry. I went and did some other things because I knew I wanted to get my fingers in it and see what happened. And then I came back and it took some serious rubbing because it was definitely dried on there. And I don't know how well you can see it, but that is the gold. Um, and it is staying in there. Now I have, after I did it, I went and I washed it with just um, a drop of Dawn dish detergent and some water to wash the glass and it did not come off. So I'm really kind of excited about this. So I will do another video when I get back from vacation and show you how I did that and hopefully I have a better cut with none of these little leaks and stuff as this is just my trial. So um, thanks for your interest and have a wonderful day.